So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to be doing some feeding of my grass. In other words, I'm going to be doing some fertilizing. I'm actually going to be using two different types of fertilizer on different areas of my property. So guys, stick around. I'll go into all the details of what I'm using and why. And for now, i got to get the tractor configured with the broadcaster. So come on guys, and I'll show you all how I do it. Okay guys, I had said earlier on, I'm using two different types of fertilizer um, and I'll, let me explain why and where I'm using it. So the first one, that I, what I've got the most of is what we call triple 17 and each number stands for a level of chemical. The first one is nitrogen, the second one is phosphorus and the third one is pota uh, potassium. Uh, anyway, the nitrogen, the higher the level, the more it makes your grass grow and makes your grass get nice and pretty and green. The second number is the phosphorus and that is what stimulates root growth. Uh, so this is good to use on new planting. Um, I'll try to dub in some pictures. There's an a bunch of areas that I even scalped it all the way down to nothing and did a fresh plant and it's doing great and I really want to give it a good kick and, and really a good feed right now. And then the last number is for the potassium and potassium helps your grass resist disease. So anyway, when you've got new growth and new planting, you really want to take care of that and feed it well when it's first coming up. So I've got a lot of areas that I overseeded um, and I seeded and planted from scratch. And so those areas are all going to be getting triple 17. So I've got another brand. I'll show you that here a little bit later in the video. But right now I'm going to get the hopper loaded up and we're going to start getting all this spread down. All right, so one thing I want to share with you guys is I've been watching the weather and one of the reasons, a uh, couple of reasons why I picked today, number one, I got home early from work and I was able to run by the warehouse and again, special thanks to Jim's Warehouse out in Dry Fork, Virginia. He's got the best pricing on fertilizer on this whole area. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Charles. Anyway, um, I've also been watching the weather and we are supposed to get uh, rain over the weekend. So this is going to work out perfect. Uh, I'm going to get all the fertilizer down and then we'll get a good rain on Saturday and it'll just really get this all activated and get it started. So another thing, a real critical key is watch your weather and catch it on a good day. Same thing goes with planting. If you know you got rain coming in, I was very lucky when I did all my uh, early spring planting. Uh, I did it and two days later we got a bunch of uh, not hard rain but nice soaking rain and it really helped with seeding it, getting the germination started. Anyway, let me continue filling up. This price, this was up near almost $30 a bag. And obviously I didn't put near as much down. I did what I had to do. But now prices have eased. And today it was just a little over $19 for a 50 pound bag. And if you're wondering, this is a Cosmo broadcaster. The Cosmo is a company out of Italy. They've been in business for years and years and years. Uh, this is metal instead of plastic. And there's pros and cons on that. Metal obviously is going to rust, but plastic will get brittle and break. So metal, I can sand down and repaint. So that's why I chose that. And if you see my videos in the past, you know when I get done today, not only will I clean my tractor, uh, uh, fertilizer is very corrosive, so I will really clean good. But the other thing I do is I'll spray this down good with WD-40, but I will put this back in my shed and I keep this out of the weather. Even doing all the stuff I do, if I did not keep it out of the weather, this thing would rust away in no time. But it is really doing great and lasting a long time. I've been very pleased. I think I'm on my fifth or sixth season using this. And guys, we're putting down fertilizer. I have 11 acres. This is a game changer. So anyway, I'm all ready to go. So. 
I'm gonna change the camera mount, mount you guys up right along with me on the tractor, and we'll get to spread. Okay guys, I got all the triple 17 down and again I focused on getting that in areas that I did a lot of overseeding and in that one area that I did to completely scratch, planted from scrap, scratch rather. So now I'm going to move on and this is a different type of fertilizer. My front yard I've been working on now, this is to be my fourth season I think, uh, that I've been core plugging, fertilizing, overseeding and all and that is really thickening up. I'm getting a really great stand of fescue. And so only thing I want to do on that one is I don't want it to uh, feed and be growing so fast it'll be hard to keep up with. I just want to turn it real pretty ground. Pretty green, sorry, not brown. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna do this product. I used this last year and it worked really great. It's called uh, Green Eagle. And if you look, instead of it being triple 17, it is 35 and 10. Obviously you can see on the first number, the nitrogen level, that's the number that you really crank it up and that nitrogen will make it all just luscious green, just dark green. Now, uh, this is also a, a, a granule, it's a slow release. And this probably takes about a week or so more to start really seeing the results in the grass than the triple 17. That uh, after the rain, within a week next week, uh, we will really be start seeing a lot of changes. This one will take a little bit longer, but it is definitely worth the wait. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna load up now, uh, change over to the Green Eagle product, and we're gonna do my front yard. guys it's getting late in the evening but I got all the fertilizer down I tell you I'm so blessed to have nice equipment that broadcaster just does a fantastic job in less than an hour I put down 1500 pounds of fertilizer and I'm walking in this one section I wanted to kind of show you so I want to pan this is my front yard that has obviously been established this is what I refer to I've been working on for about three years and then this is this new section. This is this little triangle area that I've referred to in other videos as my problem child. So last year, and guys, I'll include in the end screen if you haven't seen that video. Uh, last fall, uh, we jitterbugged and ripped all this up. Uh, discs get real good, and then overseeded and fertilized. And then this is the stand that I've got. And so the one thing I wanted to show you is I was explaining with this fertilizer in this area, this is what I did the high nitrogen content that'll just green this up and make this grow nice. This over here, I did the triple 17, which has the um, stuff in it that will really stimulate, number one, it'll help prevent disease and it will help generate all the root growth because we want this young grass to really work hard to get roots deep so it can so it can survive when times get tough like the summers that we have around here so anyway guys just wanted to share 
Uh, thanks so much for checking in with me. Remember here at Project Next One, there's always one more. There'll be lots of videos coming here shortly. We've got a lot of projects still through the season. But guys, I wanted to show you the process that I do for fertilizing and explain the reasons I do the differences. And again, please be sure to check out the end screen. It, you'll see the video of all of this last fall in nothing but dirt. And you can obviously see what it looks like now. So really, it's really rewarding to see when you work so hard and you get nice results. So guys, for now, you take care. And remember, check back soon because we'll have more coming. Guys, take care, thanks, and we'll see you soon. Guys, I almost forgot to tell you, one little last bonus tip here is uh, fertilizer is very corrosive. So to make your equipment last, be sure once you're finished using it, to really load it down either with Joy or Dawn and just really get that suds to get in there and neutralize all of the acidity residue that's on your metal and that'll neutralize it and keep it from rusting so bad. So guys, just wanted to share. Be sure you clean your equipment up real good when you're done fertilizing. Take care guys, see ya.